Dear students, today our topic of discussion is nuclear hazards for class 10 in environmental education. What is nuclear hazard? Risk or danger to human health or the environment posed by radiation emanating from the atomic nuclei of a given substance or the possibility of an uncontrolled explosion originating from a fusion or fission reaction of atomic nuclei is called nuclear hazard. This is a site of nuclear hazard. This is a site somewhere in Japan. Ways to obtain nuclear energy. Nuclear energy can be obtained in two ways. They are nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. So let us discuss both. Now, firstly, let us see what is nuclear fission. Nuclear fission involves breaking up of a heavy atom like uranium and thorium with the help of fast moving neutrons. In this process, the big atom is broken into smaller atoms. This process is accompanied by evolution uh, of a large amount of heat. This is a uh, pictorial depiction of nuclear fission. Here how incident neutron is heating a fissionable nucleus and the release of energy the splitting of nucleus then release of energy and these are the fission products after the incident neutrons then fission products are splitted and this becomes a chain reaction so after that let us see nuclear fusion in nuclear fusion Two smaller atoms like hydrogen are made to combine to give a bigger atom like helium at very high temperature compared to that existing in the sun. This process is also accompanied by the evolution of large amount of heat. In nuclear fission, so for example, uh, helium it produces the deuterium that heavy hydrogen is called also deuterium and heavier tritium is another heavy hydrogen and all these uh, um, uh, this heavy nuclear they re release energy and neut neutrons this pink color uh, are all neutrons. So impact of nuclear power. Nuclear energy is used to run nuclear power stations and other projects useful to the humanity. Uh, the same nuclear power can be used to make nuclear and atom bombs and cause destruction to the humanity in both advantages and disadvantages. In World War II, the United States of America dropped atom bombs on two cities, Hiroshima and Nagasaki of Japan. These bombs caused misery to the people of these two cities. Besides killing large number of persons, the nuclear ra radiations emitted by the bombs caused health problems which were passed from generation to generation. This is a old picture of atom bomb on Nagasaki on August 9, 1945. Then Chernobyl nuclear explosion. A serious accident took place at Chernobyl nuclear reactor located near Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. Earlier it was under USSR, Russia in 1986. A radioactive jet stream went up a height of 1.5 km in the air as a result of malfunctioning of the reactor. 31 persons died immediately after the accident. Some 4,000 
persons have died of thyroid cancer mostly of those mostly those who were children or adolescents at the time of the accident some scientists estimated that 40,000 people could die of cancer over a period of time because of exposure to radiations the author authorities decided to remove the topsoil of some 2600 square kilometer of land exposed to the radioactive substances to provide the possible protection to the people this is the old picture of chernobyl explosion site during the explosion then let us see the mitigation measures there should be a complete ban on the development and production of nuclear weapons under the supervision of UNO however some developed countries like US are already in possession of nuclear weapons which they can use in case of their need all the countries of the world should be treated at par in this matter countries who have developed technologies for the nuclear weapons but actually have no stock of such weapons should sign a pledge to the UNO that they will not produce them for warfare in the light of the nuclear accidents that have taken place safety norms for the reactors should be updated thank you for listening